we, we're live and we're gonna oh, go ahead and shit. get started here. We're starting a little late because I was eating my dinner. Um, sure, so, that's yeah. what it's called. So, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, let me go ahead and. Uh, so this is gonna be a bit different than normal. I'll do the recap of last group session, but then we're. Um, if you didn't know anyone that might be watching now or in the future on YouTube, um, this past week we did actually individual sessions for everyone with varying degrees of action and role play and stuff. Um, but we did uh, an individual session for uh, for the four players and they, they each did different things. So I'm going to leave it up to them like in character to talk about what happened when you guys meet up again. Uh, I'm not going to recap your individual sessions, um, but I'll recap the group session from last time, and then from there, we'll just go ahead and get started to when you guys meet up again before the Duke or uh, when you're with the Duke or uh, whatever. So, last session, we had started off in the monastery and tied up some more of the loose ends there. You guys kicked out the monks that were there. Um, <laughs> Uh, cruelly. Hey, we gave him a startup. We gave him a startup. <laughs> that is true. Knox kicked him out more than the other. Yeah, that's true. But you guys they gave also them... agreed to leave. Yeah, they they, did... they they didn't seem like they really wanted to. They seemed like they were kind of just like convinced. They allowed themselves to be persuaded. Yeah, exactly. They rightly didn't want to live out in the middle of the wilderness, <laughs> surrounded by <laughs> <They're>... uh, horrible <laughs> monsters. <laughs> they were kind of like, do we really have to? And Knox, Knox was like, yeah, you definitely have to. Um, this is it helps totally that, not a good place. It helps mom. that two of the party members are like, "Here, have some money." Yeah, that yeah. did happen. That actually, yeah. uh, to be honest, they probably would have put up more of a fight, except uh, you did that. So that actually was. Or you're also like, "Hey, if the Duke flat. likes us, get a discount." <laughs> yeah. Um. So, but you you got rid of them, <laughs> and uh, we had what were the other loose ends we tied up? You found out that Rheinbout's name isn't Rheinbout at all; it's Ulrich, because I forgot to mention that the week before. Um. And you did some other stuff, but then you went to meet the Duke. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, and so you guys met the Duke, and um, and Theravel was there, as well as this priest from a temple in town, and some of the Duke's personal knights, his elite knights. Um, and you guys talked with him, and each sort of made requests of him for help finding information, or for help doing specific things, buying certain things. Um, and then, uh, as you we were splitting off to, Knox was going to go talk with the Duke to request of him a specific request about creating her own order of knights. Uh, then her and Alejandro and the Duke were attacked. Um, and the rest of the group intervened and helped them out. And you guys fended off the attack on the Duke. He did go down for a short period of time, uh, but you guys yep. saved him. And, uh, and so he was even further indebted to you guys. Um, before, it was sort of like some civic sort of debt that he owed you guys for protecting the people of the duchy. Um, but after that point, he had a personal sort of debt that he owed to you. Um, and uh, so the... So yeah, so then um, you guys had basically at that point split off and done your own things. There was a feast that you all went to the next day uh, that hadn't been covered on stream, but um, was just nothing really important happened there. It was just a big feast. Um, and you each have spent about two weeks or so um, traveling and finding things out. Um, a little over two weeks, I think. Um, I'm not going about the exact timing of stuff. Um, and you're all pretty much going to arrive back around the same day. <clears throat> and to make it easier, we'll say that you all arrive the, uh, well, some of you might arrive one or two days earlier. But you have maybe like a, one evening before you're all supposed to meet with the Duke and uh, you all meet up again after doing your individual things. <clears throat> again, some people might have arrived a little sooner than others. The last to arrive probably... I actually think it would have been... I think it would be Anna. So Knox would probably be the first... No, or no. So two was in the city the whole time. Um, yeah. Yeah, two was in the city. Knox would have been the first to arrive, then Miles, then Anna. Yep. It's kind of funny that Anna basically took the same route as Miles, but yeah, ended up hitting all over the well, bullshit. No, so no, he went the south route. Uh, oh, he just Averton. happened to. Mm -hmm. 
gap in the waiver around a little bit first. Yeah. Um, you went the northern route through uh, Yorton's Cove and stuff. That area up there. Averton. You went through Averton, yeah. Um, yeah. In the south, because he had information about someone he needed to meet there. So did he like go through Riverdale or something? Uh, I think he just went through the mountains or through like the one of the the other small road east of that. But uh, yeah, um, I went through Wolston. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we, I think I might have briefly described it. Let me. Well, get that well out. thankfully for him, all of the fucking mountain giants and ogres are out of the mountains at the time. <laughs> so um, <laughs> so I don't know. So like um, we'll say that like Knox would definitely arrive a couple days before the planned meeting with the Duke. I don't know if two and Knox have anything in particular they need to discuss privately. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, I didn't think no, so either. But I think of all the characters, two and Knox might have the least to discuss privately. Yeah, yeah, that's probably not fair. that they are like on bad terms. They're yeah, they just don't like... have much in common necessarily. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's that's like fine. Hi, member. <laughs> yeah. So the. Uh... So in that case, the next one back would be Miles. Um, we'll say like, yeah, like uh, the evening, two or two evenings before uh, the meeting with the Duke. You you have two uh, evenings before. So what you're saying is I can go to the magic shop. You, you can go the <laughs> the day before, yeah. But how you? The idea was that you were gonna um, give one to your wife. Yes. But how are you gonna I get forgot, that? Twitter? So I'm just going to pick them up now, okay. so I don't forget. Okay. Yeah. You would you would no doubt be able to do that. Good um, <laughs> you would definitely be able to do that the day before um, the meeting with the Duke, and it would cost you 150 gold at the magic shop. Um, 150 gold. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, at least you can use them in the meantime. <laughs> you basically bought a pair of walkie talkies. To be used, however. Yeah. 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 You can use them for other stuff before you give give one to your wife. Um, so, um, so you so you get back into town like the evening, then the next day you do that business. But do you have anything that you would ask the others about in particular, like any private business that needs to be taken care of? No. Okay, I didn't no. think so. so. Not <laughs> unless they have something to discuss with me. <laughs> I really like how you said no. How dare you suggest that? <laughs> I, I oh, would no. never deal with these mere peasants. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the way that uh, all Drake's characters are like, really. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so in any case, the uh, let's see, um, would uh, all right. So in that case, then Anna would arrive at the day before in the we'll say in the afternoon. Maybe uh, you run into each other on the streets as Miles is coming back from running that little errand. And, uh, and you guys are all back in Fellington here. Um, Disgusting. Actually, I actually kind of like the idea of Anna running into Miles on the street like uh, while they're both uh, heading back to the castle there. And uh, Miles, you actually notice that Anna is accompanied by someone new. Fucking Anna always getting his boyfriends. <laughs> Pick up another one, did you? <laughs> like I'm small. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have to open up my info about him. Um, he's... You don't even—you never even filled out his personality. No, I—I I know his personality though. He's just. Would you fill out his personality? Come on. He's not a super like complex character, honestly. Uh, so he is. He uh, so he is. A, it's a halfling, um, below All right, three I feet. Fi I figured out his flaw. <laughs> he doesn't hit things. Yeah. <laughs> so he um yeah, he so what you see with Anna is a is a halfling. Because that makes him a good um, boyfriend, though, right? Below three feet, so he's like a even a little <laughs> below average for uh, halflings. Even um, he has a great sword that is taller than him, basically on his back, and a uh, along with a long sword at his side and a shield on his back, uh, so, or on his side somewhere else. Um, and he's just dressed in a simple tunic. Actually, he has no armor on. Pick up another one, did you? Can't help it. So, how was Olda's landing? Full of uh, interesting people. Pointing at oh. the halfling. <laughs> yeah, I found this one in a uh, demon worshipper's basement. 
<laughs> does does this one say anything? Yeah, he would. Like, uh, I was gonna say he'd probably be like, he'd be like, um, like I, I owe my, I owe my life to up. her. Did that comment not bring out anything in Miles? Be like demon worshippers fix me. <laughs> so you've been the one hunting demons this time. <laughs> oh no, I avoided them. He's all I found in the basement. Yeah, she just left them so others could get killed by them. <laughs> hey, just tease it. I, I let my friend it. know about it. <laughs> he so apparently he, be killed by him. he apparently knows a lucrative way to to use that information. So I'm just gonna assume that means that he'll be having a bad time next time I hear about him. Mm -hmm. Yep, that is true. And who is your friend here? Who's this little buddy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Like, I'm assuming you're like a bad thing. Yeah, that might be but... offensive to his people. Yeah, maybe. This unfortunate fellow <laughs> is Darwin. Didn't uh, have the best of luck. Where was it you said? Um, Glo Gloston, you stumbled into a back room full of, full of uh, robed figures. Aye, Gloston. Where is Gloston? South of Wolston. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Where is that? It's south of <laughs> Wolston's Wenswell. like right in the middle. <laughs> it's in the region of Aver, isn't Glosson it? Gloston is oh. northeast of Averton by like uh, a I few hexes. must have passed through there not too long ago. It's a yellow dot. On my way to Averton. Did you see any w demon worshippers while you were there? None that I could recognize. In fact, weren't you up in the north? Uh, yes, on. I went to Dundale. You didn't happen to see any giants or ogres, did you? Did I? <laughs> no, you didn't. No, nothing of the sort. Apparently, you dodged I did all have the to trouble. find out that uh, the Duke of Norland is currently searching for uh, the stolen blade of Alder. Yeah, I wonder what happened to that. Yeah. The bard told me about how incompetent he, he would have to be to lose it. Oh. A guard. I, I was talking with him after I encountered a rather annoying group of troublemakers, and I told him <laughs> that a god tried to give it to me. <laughs> he didn't believe me. Yeah, the they're still speculating on how the blade disappeared from there. I believe a lot of people think that uh, it's the Duke, right? Uh, of Norland? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, wasn't he saying that people were speculating that the Duke is, like, just let it go? Like, sold it or something? The, the bard you talked to kind of said... Or a guard like, or something? Well, so the, the bard you had talked to basically said, like, there's no way it could have disappeared. He must have just, like, actually misplaced it or given it away and is lying, you know? Yeah. They, they were, like, basically, like, they don't believe the fact that he... It could have been stolen because it had heavy, uh, heavy guards around it. But I don't know. That's what the bard told you. And he said... I guess the other thing was that he had told you that he had been to the place where it was kept and seen the defenses there. Impossible. <laughs> but I don't know uh, if you would say Has that. news of what happened in Thurbershire gotten all the way over mm -hmm. here yet? Um, to be honest, uh, maybe like the day before, but um, like the Duke might know about it, so those of the... I don't know if Knox and Two would be hanging around the Duke much, though. He's been taking care of his own business while you guys have been doing your own thing. Nox has been busy. Yeah. She, I guess I'll just ask Miles well, so, if he knows. So I kind of imagine that Nox probably would have gotten to town, like, on time. Yeah, you. Oh, that's what exactly I said. You got there, like, two days... Of, oh, like, you, maybe you get there this about the same time Anna does? Right. I guess that's right. Cause Cause you, you, come in, you come in from, from the... Because you would be trying to take was, care of as much business You come in from possible. the East Road, and I come in from the North Road, and we're just like, oh, hey. Uh, well, I think no, Nox was going to go around. would have gone through Diverton to avoid Snowfield. Oh yeah, I forgot we have that. So, like, yeah, that I kind of, yeah, I, I kind of like, think that you agree because like, Knox would be doing business. Knox is a it? lot closer, mm -hmm. and like she's actively doing something there. So I imagine she would be like, all right, timing down to the day. I have to leave today to get there by yeah. the day the Duke wants to be there. Okay, so maybe you arrive like a couple hours after Anna, then that's fine. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah, where it's, and it was just like, well, so, everything so, is, like, going horrible, so I need to get back to mm -hmm. relative safety. In that case, Anna, or, um, so Nox would not know about this yet. Um, two might have heard about this attack, um, hmm, but I don't know if how much two would be hanging around the Duke either. Two would probably just be focused on training, I'm assuming, right, Perplex? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, maybe you, Duke probably isn't just going to, like, actively find you guys. He'll probably uh, tell you tomorrow. So, yeah, uh, I guess I'd probably tell Miles yeah, about Miles it probably wouldn't we were know looking either, for so. whoever else is around, mm -hmm. getting a room or whatever. Rooms, I guess, since uh, What's-His-Face needs to mm -hmm. get accommodations here, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, I actually meant to say that we should all just, like, I haven't charged you guys stuff in a while. I don't know, just take, like, five gold out of your stuff for just supplies you guys have been buying and rooms and drink and food for the past couple of weeks. I don't know. How much do you want me and Kratos to take out? <laughs> um... You guys, I don't know, maybe like... I have been performing, yeah. Yeah, you guys How many performing. rations do you want me to take out? Know, maybe like two for you guys then, because you've been getting okay. most of that stuff free. But still, you know, like rations for when you're traveling. Yeah. And I, I do buy up rations yeah. every once in a while yeah. myself. No, yeah, so just... How many rations do you want me to take out? Uh, maybe like... Maybe like four or five. Yeah, five. Because you've been traveling on the road for quite a few days. Like um, 30. Unless you would have been buying it in the taverns, but... Yeah, that's fine, though. Um, uh, it's no big deal. That's a drop in the bucket for you guys, anyways. At this point, um, so yeah. So the uh, so so Anna, would so you? So what exactly does Anna ask me? Hmm? Yeah, you guys can keep talking because it sounded like Anna was going to tell him about the attack. Or yeah, I would tell Miles about the ogre giant and northerner attack <laughs> on Thurbershire. Thurbershire, that's up by Wensville, to the northeast of Durndale, isn't it? Yep, along the coast. I found a letter on one of the uh, ogres I killed that told them to go north. Hmm. No, I haven't. Oh, and uh, I would tell him about the whole thing with the northern northern king wanting to be called king of. Oh yeah, king Elbane. of Elbane. Mm-hmm. Does Albane mean anything to me? Uh, you can roll a history check if you like. If you'd like. Bam. Eighteen. Oh, there you go. Damn, roll. Um, yeah, you today. definitely know. Um, as I had told Craigox yesterday, this is the Albane is the the old halfling name for the the Northern Isle. Um, Albane, that's the Northern Isles, if I remember correctly. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. No one seems to know why he's claiming that name. Whether it's to get some kind of sympathy from the halflings, or just to use an older name for it, or what? Hmm. Yeah, it's strange that he decides to do this at the same time as uh, their raids increase. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. So I don't know. So what's your see. story? I say turning. <laughs> Halfling. Oh, to Darwin? Yeah. Alright, he'll he'll keep it short, but he'll be like, <clears throat> I uh I wander around with normally with my group of uh halfling companions, the Keldenane Cavaliers. We Keldenane, does that mean anything to me? <laughs> uh roll me another history check real quick. Yeah. I do know Seldanian. And actually so An like Anna hasn't asked him what that means, right? Eight. What? What what means? Uh, the Keldenane part of Keldenane Cavaliers. Well, it's from Keldenford. I believe he said that much, right? Well, he's from Keldenford, but the group he's with isn't. I guess not... I haven't thought that that much into it then. So mm -hmm. no, I got. I have not asked. If you want to roll now, you you may. Um, you don't have to though. Um, but so. Uh... I thought that was the eight eleven roll. Oh, you're talking to Kragox. To Kragox, yeah. Mm -hmm. The eight is for uh, so Miles. You um, while you remembered what Elbane is, uh, you don't remember what Keldenane is. Uh, Craig, what you do though? Um, you remember that Keldenane is actually the halfling name for the main isle, for Alderlin. Ah, uh, so they're just saying that they're the cavaliers of this island. Yes, uh, precisely. Yeah, the cavaliers of Keldenane. And, you know, they're ha all halflings, so they want to use the halfling Well, there name, you go. Of That's why I never asked. I just knew the whole yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. You never questioned it. So, he, Miles is like, you know, he doesn't know, so he might ask, you know. Uh, 
Keldenane, is that any relation to Saldania? It is not, no. <laughs> I'd say that in character. He's, he's talking oh, to you're the to, Oh, yeah, to Mr. Darwin. Mr. Halfling. Okay. Yes. He's like, um, he's like, no, that's uh, the name of this island. Let us halflings and gave it long ago. I, uh, we, the Keldenane Cavaliers, we wandered the island looking for jobs we can take up, um, uh, mercenary contracts, or if monsters have been bothering towns, we, uh, griffins, giants, ogres, hobgoblins, the like, we go and fight them, and we only accept half the payment that normally is offered by the townspeople. Our goal is to create a better better reputation for halflings on the isle, so that one day we may uh, hold more power and more respect in the kingdom. Hmm. Yeah, man, they're trying to conquer from the inside. I wish you good luck in that endeavor. Hmm. And he nods, he's like, well, for right now, I won't be with my comrades. I I do owe my life to, to Mrs. Anna here. Mrs. <laughs> Miss Anna here, uh, and I just, uh, I just imagine Anna being like, "Excuse me, baby, go home." <laughs> uh, I, but yeah, he's like, he's like, I owe my life to Miss Anna here, and I will be accompanying her until, well, until either I have repaid my life debt or have uh, found myself useful in her eyes uh, enough to, or, or alternatively, until I find my companions once again. They are always traveling; and they never stay in one town for too long. Well, I do have some business down near Heffeldale Heffel Rest, so we might run into them if they travel around there. Mm -hmm. He's like, um, they travel most places in the kingdom. I'm sure I'm sure they stand out. We'll, we'll know, hear of them before we meet them. I'm sure. So, uh, Miles, where are the others? Not sure. <laughs> I actually you're the first one I've seen. Well, oh. huh? Do you know what uh, what they were planning after I left? Uh. Well, I know. Well, actually, who 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 left in what order? Another question. Uh. You and Miles left around the same time, on the same day. Knox was there the whole week. Two has been there the whole time. Yeah, so... and I know I, I had the general idea of what Knox was going to do. I don't yeah. know where two would have got, went, necessarily. Yeah. I think the I... whole uh, that whole situation <laughs> is unknown to Anna. <laughs> yeah. I can't what? imagine two had any reason to leave the city. <sighs> Perhaps we can find her then. Maybe Duke or one of his people knows where she's gone to. Away! All right, so you guys go to like the go to the castle to hang out and see what's going on. Yeah, let's go hang out with the Duke. <laughs> okay, um, so when you reach the castle, um, you'd be told that the Duke is pretty busy. He's actually talking to some of his like uh, military advisors and stuff like that. All of his advisors are gathered. Um, they'd be like, you know, you can join if you want, but you'll probably one of the uh, you're probably met by like a knight, right? Who's uh, knows who you are, and he's like, he's like, you can join if you want, but you'll uh, probably be bored out of your minds. Yeah, I, I don't know anything of military. Um, I did, I did see. Uh, I, I say it to the knight. Is there like a common room or something we can stay in for now? Yeah, and he'll point you to like a little lounge room or something. Um, would you guys ask where two is? Anna would. Okay. Um, he'll tell you, he's like, uh, he'll actually tell you that, um, Two had just finished up her last training session with, um, with, uh, Ramon slash Richard, <laughs> uh, in one of the courtyards. Yeah, yeah and so Ramon, uh, so Ooh. Two was probably somewhere around the, uh, the castle. Yeah, who is Ramon this? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot, that's his name. <laughs> yeah, his yeah. name's Ramon now. Yeah, Richmonius. So, so he tells you that uh, Ramon was uh, having a training session with two. Uh, 
supposedly their last one. Uh, that they he actually is, he'll tell you is like they become they become quite the sight uh, every day training out in the courtyards, um, oftentimes oh, Anna, jumping off the walls and such. Uh... Anna would notice. I'm wearing a cloak now. Hey, I'm also same. wearing a ring now. <laughs> you guys both got cloaks actually. Oh no, Drag has become the the new Matt. Look <laughs> at this ring. Look it's at it! Ring. I mean, so not to barge in. By the way, but, Miles, where'd you get that uh, cloak from? As... Oh, there's a magic shop. Oh, the one I went to. Which one Probably. did you go to? The halfling wizard. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Got a couple things there. As did I. Actually, I'm trying to think, would my cloak stand out right now? I've been wearing traveling clothes and being incognito lately. So uh, I mean... <laughs> it's probably just a normal-looking cloak right now. Yeah. Wait, are you wearing traveling clothes right now? Yeah. Say, Anna, what happened to your rather nice clothing? I just tapped my backpack. Ah. Wanted to be inconspicuous, I presume. Somewhat. You generally don't want to stand out when you're pissing off demon worshipping nobles. Uh, <laughs> sometimes standing out is the best thing to do in that scenario. Not when you uh, aren't uh, who's aren't aren't in the position to fight off yes. twenty or thirty guards <laughs> yourself. And Darwin's like, I could have probably taken him. However, in many it was. I don't know so... about that. I, I remember. I remember that. I remember the the ogre situation. And he's like, "You said you wouldn't speak of that." <laughs> I made no I such promise. I turned to the night we were speaking with. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so do you? You mentioned two was probably in the courtyard. I uh, I don't know where two is, but I could send someone to find her and tell her you've arrived. Uh, please do. Very well. Uh, she'll be told where you are. I wish to speak with her. Right. And he'll he'll like nod and then uh, send someone off to find two. And you guys will be me. seated in the lounge room somewhere, or in the kitchen, or somewhere in the dining hall. Um, probably the dining hall and brought some like some fine mead. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, and it's poison, definitely. Uh, no. Um, Actually, how well have I been eating? I'm assuming decently well, right? You have plenty of money. <laughs> Like, I I believe on at that way, point it's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> on my way, I like from my wife. Yeah. I would have been eating like not very well because okay. I would have just been eating well, rations. And you've been traveling, so you probably are hungry. So they'd bring you food. Yeah. But how well was I eating at my wife's? <laughs> uh, she she actually hunts and stuff in her dragon form, just for for sport, you know. Uh, but she doesn't like wasting either, so... But she catches, like, elk and deer. So. You would have had, like, plenty of meat and stuff. I just and picture she, him covered in fucking and she, blood uh, all she over actually, the place. She also, like, goes into the nearby... Into Pilth, you know, in the nearby town. Uh, disguised differently most of the time. Uh, or not disguised, but changed into a different form. And just to get bread and stuff that, you know, you'd find in a town. Yeah. <clears throat> So, you'd probably be eating well there, but the the journey back, which is like uh, five or six days or something or a week, um, would uh you would have had mm, you'd be traveling, so it'd be hard on you uh, a little more than normal. So, you're probably hungry. Yeah. So, uh, so where would two be after finishing your last lesson with Ramon? He gives you the seal of approval. Uh, yep. Yeah. Would you just be like hanging out? <laughs> Yep. Talking to him? Uh, I mean, I'd probably still be, like, at the Duke's place. Yep. Hanging out. Okay, right? sounds good. So, like, uh, yeah, so, like, some guard finds you and is like, he's like, uh, Lady Two, um, your companions, uh, they've arrived, two of them, and they, one of them said they wanted to talk to you. They're in the, the lounge room, or the dining hall. What oh, the hell was that? That was me just in my mind. <laughs> Sounded like you were screaming. What did you, uh, you say, Privilex? I said, oh, did they leave? 
Uh, y yes, lady, they've, uh, my lady, they've been gone for, they've been gone for two weeks. It's been that long. <laughs> <laughs> you spent two weeks training. <laughs> Every day yeah. with Richard is like a moment. <laughs> I'm an elf, okay? Hasn't it been like three? Uh, two and a half, <laughs> I think. Let me, I had said. Yeah. Cause, like, was... I spent a week in the city. No. Almost a week yep. traveling out. I think I think you were Several the first to leave. There. It was like two and a half weeks more. Yeah, this is uh, this back. is two and a half weeks. You later. you were like the first to leave though, Jack. But I wasn't though. I spent a whole week in the city. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, it's yeah, it's been two and a half weeks. Before, um, like, no, I don't remember the details, but it's definitely it's been two and a half weeks. Time time yeah. tends to warp and fold in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> time um, but yeah. And and by the way, uh, Purplex, it's been about a week since you did your thing, you know. Okay. Your mission. Excuse um, me. Purplex, it's, yeah. it's been a, so it's been about a week since then. You've been finishing up your training since then. That was like the halfway point through your training, or over halfway. Yeah. So so either I'd like stick around like the Duke's place, yeah. or possibly just stick around the brothel. <laughs> okay. Um, they uh... seem to be pretty cool with me, so. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Um, Maybe she wants to bang. <laughs> so, so I, I, mean, I would she say already complimented my looks. So. <laughs> in this situation, the uh, this would be right after you finish your training, so you'd probably still be around the the castle, and you would be yeah, you'd be I requested. I don't hit the brothel until later. Exactly. Yeah, you'd be requested by this guard to like go. You, they would tell you that your your friends have arrived back in the city, and one of them wished to speak with you and uh, like specifically. Yeah. I'll go speak with them. Okay. So you guys see as uh, two walks in, um, has two's appearance changed at all? Like, uh, almost entirely, yeah. I don't remember what you did. What? To your appearance. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> well, no, I just would be, like, wearing clothes, completely right? different yeah. stuff. Okay, yeah, I gotcha. The most notable thing would be my bracers. Because I've had those. Mm hmm. And probably just like. Uh, you have a nice set of boots face. on. <laughs> yeah, I have like a lot nicer armor on. I have a lot nicer boots on. I have a lot nicer clothes on. Yep. And here I am wearing plain clothes suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look worse than before. And the, yeah. and the cape. Well, really nice. Right now, it doesn't look like it. Probably, probably looks like a normal brown or black cloak. So, um, so two walks in, looking much nicer than the last time you guys remember. And uh, you've certainly done well for yourself. I say you. in Sylvan. No, <laughs> I will respond in Sylvan. <laughs> Thank and you. it just it looks was, blankly uh... from one to another. Okay. It was a lovely, actually, um, it was a uh, it was a dwarf, funny enough, that got uh, got me these new uh, armor shit. Yeah. I will say, continuing in Sylvan, before I left, I planned on giving you a gift in. The celebration of you joining our little happy family. And I will reach into my bag of folding and pull out a longbow. Plus one. And offer it to you. Oh. <laughs> Miles, you shouldn't have. Just so they're just like it. staring at each other awkwardly now. My my <laughs> hand is outstretched to you, holding the bow. Plus I one. will grab the bow and repeat. Uh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to cast the detect magic and see what the bow is. It's a bow plus one. Okay, and I'm assuming at this point I'm going to notice what else she has that's magic. Yeah, the... You're just gonna see basically everything light up. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see identical <laughs> bow on you already. Yeah, along with bracers and shit. So I'm just gonna instantly understand, like, oh, 
<laughs> and the boots still in Sylvan. <laughs> oh, do you not want it? No, it's lovely. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna give to an eye like I already know what's going on, even though I haven't understood a word. Oh, by the way, I've had these arrows sitting in my bag forever. I'm gonna hand you a couple of blue-tipped arrows. They're magic. Of some sort. Lightning <laughs> lightning arrows or whatever I never you used. You guys never identified <laughs> yeah. them, pretty sure. No, but, I mean... We know they're magic. Yeah. Pretty yeah. good idea of what they do. Okay. But yeah, and will hand to a couple of magical arrows. Saying, I don't know exactly what they do, but they're magic. How many is it? Two. Two, two, two. blue tipped arrows. Two? Yeah. Ha! Yeah, two to two. Two, I, uh, two. I would not understand the joke if you made it uh, <laughs> in game. It's like when you try to make an English pun with somebody who doesn't speak English. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So, uh, it's funny how long they sat in my inventory, even on a fucking inventory bar, and I'm just like, oh yeah, those things. Yep. <laughs> so I'm assuming this, that uh, this at this point, arrows. it is, uh, it's gotten a little later into the afternoon and getting into evening now. So I'm assuming Nox would probably show up around this time as well. Sure. I uh, see so you have one night of rest before me with the Duke. Um, <clears throat> so Nox would uh, show up at the castle now, uh, if you're going straight to the castle at least. Um, yeah, yeah, and you would be told that your companions have already arrived and are, uh, and are where they are. Eating the Duke's food. Yeah, they're eating, okay. just kind of relaxing, you know. So. Like, honestly, why wouldn't you just hang out at the Duke's place if he, yeah. he just gives you food all the time? So, but yeah, so they are down, uh, they're down in, like, the True. dining hall area. The mess hall. Don't even have to sing for my meal. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know, would you go and <laughs> say hi? Yeah, sure. I mean, if I four, they are all there. All right, sounds good. So, you guys are just exchanging pleasantries still, and uh, and Knox will walk in through the door. So, when Knox walks in, there are several things you'd notice. Um, one is that she and Alejandro are both wearing much nicer armor. Yeah. Knox is now in half plate, and Alejandro is now in full plate. <laughs> I'm still in my. Puny scale. And they that... both have, they both have tabards over oh, their yeah, armor. Oh yeah, that's right. That I'm just gonna put it in the D and D. Yeah, yeah. That put the uh... like, that it has this insignia on it. Well, you sure you sure been busy. Well, aren't you uh, all official looking? Uh, I've we've been able to get a lot done in the past few weeks. It's definitely for sure. Anna points at the half like, hey, look, I found another one. Another... Another friend. Where do you attract these creatures? <laughs> oh, this one, was, this one was in a nobleman's basement. Oh, the demon worshipper was a noble. Yeah, I had mentioned that already before. Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Miles, Miles was very distracted. He was really? nervous about I giving his demon present to, to... And the noble part just went over <laughs> my head. There's a reason I didn't just kill him. I suppose that's fair. He had he had dozens of armed guards on his property. And I highly doubt oh, most of them oh. even knew what he was doing in the basement. Knox. Yes. Anna, two. I got Other a person. really nice cloak. I'm very happy for you. Like, l look what... Look what you can do. Uh, what, uh, what is lighting the room currently? Torches and stuff. Um, there actually is a window on one side too, and the sun is still up. All right. I'm going to go to each of the torches <laughs> and put them out with prestidigitation. <laughs> okay, it's a big room. It's going to take like two minutes. All right. They can, <laughs> Maybe not two minutes. They but... can keep talking while I do uh, this. It's going to take a minute, and uh, it'll be dimly lit after that. Yeah. Because the sunlight is still oh, you, there. I can't wait. Okay, so the so you guys can keep talking. So uh, he's still um, Miles. <laughs> what have you been up to? Uh, well, I've been uh, busy building that 
order I told you about. A conversation with the Duke went very well. We came to a pretty good agreement. Um, I've been working on converting the monastery into a fort of sorts and staffing it with men. Hmm. Have you heard uh, anything from uh, the the monks that left, by the way? I know they were going to resettle where the monastery used to be. Nox, Anna, look at this. Anything from them, by the way. <laughs> look at this. I say, and I use my cloak's ability to turn into a bat. <laughs> That's... And I, I fly around. <laughs> you fly around. Why, <laughs> why did you make it so dark in here? I can hardly see. I pull out my rapier and cast light on it. Uh, so it doesn't say when I'm a bat, I <laughs> stop being a bat. I don't think so. I think it's just to cast I, this battle. I just have to be in dim light or darkness to cast it. Yeah. Okay. I was. I, I just wanted to, <laughs> I was hoping that you would just flop it back to the ground, but... No, it's no, just a normal polymorph once I you cast it. Flying. Anna, in yeah. character, of course, would have no idea. Yeah. She's just trying to see what's going on. <laughs> so, Miles. Well, that's certainly interesting, Miles. Can I speak? Wait, no, I'm you can't. Bat? I don't think no, so. No. <laughs> you can normal bat speak? That of a bat. Yeah, you use the polymorph. Well, spell. my mental stats are my mental, st or all my yeah, mental stats it, yeah. are normal. <laughs> but you are a bat. Yeah, you are limited. The bat spell it says the creature is limited stats. in the actions it can perform by the nature of its new form, and it can't speak, cast spells, or take any other action that requires hand or hands or speech. So no, you cannot speak. It says in the spell. All right, but I do maintain my intelligence, wisdom, and charisma scores, yeah. which is specified by the cloak. Okay. So you can turn into a bat now. No, wait. It says the targets, <laughs> the targets' game statistics, including mental ability scores, are replaced by the statistics of the chosen beast. Does it? Yeah, yeah. that's how polymorph works, baby. Yeah. yeah that's so how you're so you cloak works. itself while you're in the form of the bat. Oh, uh, okay. The cloak. Okay. Yeah. All right. The, the cloak overrules it then. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, see, I thought poetry was reading the cloak. No. Yeah, I was reading yeah, polymorph. specific rules. Yeah. No. no that makes sense then. Over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Was I was I able to see Miles turn into a bat? Yeah, you all. Yeah, he did, he did, he got all he over made sure you guys it. saw it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like and now I'm lighting up the room, so okay. he's clearly illuminated as a bat flying around. I was just making sure I saw him. Otherwise, like I might just hit him. <laughs> take his new oh, bow and <laughs> fucking take him out of the sky. <laughs> well, like if there was just a bat in here. You know what's great about that? If it's polymorph, he would just pop back Flop. out as a as normal <laughs> yeah. him. Yeah. 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 Flop to the ground. Well, and then damage, I will stop damage travels over. Polymorph, yes. And then I will uh, pop back into normal me. Yeah. Would you mind turning all the lights back on? I will go around <laughs> and use Prestidigitation <laughs> to turn all the lights back on. Yeah. Once once you start doing that, I'll put the rapier away. It's like, anyway, um... So, I found uh, quite a number of interesting things while in the capital, other than... Darwin here. He nods. So. Uh, yeah. There's apparently a lot going down, going on in uh, the Heffeldale Shire region to mm. be investigated, as well as shadowy, perhaps cultists of the same group that we've been involved with. I I don't know. They're, they're demon worshippers, though, of some sort. In uh, Gloucester, as well as the capital. God, well, too much happened, man. Well, we know the cult has at least experimented with demons before. Oh, and the Northerners are using ogres and giants in their raids now. Thurbyshire was attacked on my, my way here. I'm sure the Duke is aware, but I don't think it's gotten to the general public yet here. I ran into an Etten on the road. Do I know what an Etten is? Uh, if you want to, you, you can make a history check. So uh, that would be something that I do think you wouldn't necessarily know. Oh yeah, you know what an Etten is. Two-headed yeah, giant. I know a lot about, about historical <laughs> context. Anna does events. not know what an Etten is. I wonder if that's related. Uh, what, what, what exactly does not know is an what an Etten is? It's a two-headed giant. No, that was Lena. <laughs> the role says two, though, so. A two-headed no, giant. Uh, I, would say, I would say you, you still don't know. Are they twice as smart as a normal giant? He seemed fairly stupid to me, although I will say he... He, he something. He, 
He knew yeah. when to run. Mm -hmm. Um, I met with my wife. Oh, how did that go? And uh, not anymore. Why'd you move? Because uh, I left. <laughs> Makes sense. Why yeah, you apparently move? she sold the house or something. Uh, new families living there, and all the money I've been sending to her, so I thought was going to them. <laughs> I'm sure you made some family very happy. Hmm. Yes, but where did she move to? Uh, f to the southwest of Dundale, in the mountains. The mountains? Mm -hmm. Interesting Is she choice. some sort of warrior or something? That seems rather dangerous to move out That's, of the uh... countryside. That sounds like a lovely place to move. <laughs> uh, is the night still in here? No, you guys are alone. Alright. Like, there might be a servant that brings in some food every once in a while. Um, so... Don't mention this, but... Evidently... My wife is... You're not gonna believe this. My wife was a dragon, and I had no idea. <laughs> you're right. Okay, I do I believe... believe do I believe he's telling the truth? It's not up to you. Yeah. yeah. Well, you. you can roll insight to see if you think I'm lying. <laughs> I already know yeah, basically. Like, like, it would just be like... I've heard yeah. stuff like that before. I basically yeah. want to know if he thinks he's telling the truth. Um, yeah. Roll, Whether I believe him or not is secondary. You can roll on inside. I'm going to say that anything above a 10, you'd be pretty sure that he's telling the truth. It's not going to be that uh, hard. Alright, so a 10 is what the average person <laughs> oh, no. would think <laughs> based on how I'm speaking. <laughs> so I, I'm not sure if he's telling the truth or not. I'm yeah, like, I think, yeah, you're still uncertain. Your wife is a what? Miles, Ulf believed that he came to this island in a giant fish's mouth. It's slightly concerning that you're starting to fall into the same kind of delusions. No, no, I'm, I'm serious. We're all serious. Like th this is no joke. My uh... <laughs> wife was apparently a silver dragon, and I had no idea until just. Week or so ago, Alejandro. I think I, I think I know a song about this. Yeah, Alejandro story. would butt in and say that actually he'd be like, in the in my home country, uh, we have a tale concerning such a, a situation. I'm gonna oh. check Miles for injury. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'd probably see like not like it's a few weeks old. But I did have a pretty nasty gash on the left side of my stomach. So you're going to try and medicine check him? Yeah. But other than that, I seem pretty much yeah. exactly how I was before I left. Yeah, you might notice, uh, I don't know how you would notice that, but... <laughs> maybe maybe he looks like he's like kind of favoring one side, because the other side might have a little twinge of pain. You know, Miles, you've always known a little bit too much about demons. Is there something that you need to tell us? Something get in your head? No. There are many Quite people the here that can help. Actually. Quite the opposite, actually. Something came Seems out of your head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that Valor. would also explain this. Intellect of Valor. Yeah. Uh, I, you see this ring? Do you know what this is? It looks like a I ring. have no idea what that is. It's magical. The uh, the ring has a. Yeah, is it, this is the one that has the brain on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is it, the one that has the brain. It has on. a shape like a carved out shape of a brain on the top of the band. I'm, go I'm going to ask him if that's his brain. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's a ring of mind shielding. And that means. I think he got it too late, whatever it means. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, my thoughts cannot be read, nor can uh, they magically determine whether or not I am lying. Uh, and my soul. Ah, I understand dead. now. 
You were trying to see if any one of us were trying to read your mind when you told us your wife was a dragon. No, actually. It's a gift from my father. You can... I'll go along with your act. <laughs> Don't worry. Somehow or another, he met my wife in the mountains and gave me this ring and a letter. He met your wife in the mountains? Before I did. When when you were gone? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> so they moved oh, to no. a <laughs> remote location where he happened to find your wife. That's what I was told. <laughs> <laughs> Seems about as believable as your wife being a dragon. The man's in a fragile state right now. I, I, I understand the delusions. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, you don't understand. My, my wife is honestly a dragon. And our child, Adelaide. Your child? Our child. <laughs> Adelaide. She's like this big. I say, <laughs> like, by hand, like, a good two and a half feet off the ground. She's a wormling. Yo. You know what? I think we should just leave him to his beliefs for now. And we'll come back to this when he's a little further removed from the trauma. <laughs> Nox, Anna, I will take you to Durndale and take you to my wife so you can see that she is a dragon if that's what it takes. <laughs> 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 I'd meant to pick up these, I say, reaching into my bag and pull it, pulling out one of the sending stones to give to her before I left, but I'm an idiot. Knox doesn't say Clearly. anything at that. <laughs> Why don't you do just learn how to cast it yourself? <laughs> Called out. Young? Would I have the ability to cast <laughs> that? Warlock? I like so. since I am not one of one of whatever you are, I like and I wouldn't really know wizard. whether you're good or not. It's like bard, wizard, maybe cleric. I don't remember. I know it's bard and wizard. Bard, cleric, Should wizard. Be. Yeah, hey, I got it. Bard, cleric, wizard. Let's go. I don't think it's within my capacity to do that. Hmm. Strange. Done quite a number of other strange things with your powers. Yes, I don't get to pick and choose, however. Oh. I guess I sort of just, uh, see other people using magic and adapt it. Interesting. Give me a second here. Ugh. Occasionally another bard will pass through and teach you something, but with other spells, you just kind of, uh, figure out how to, uh, sing the right sort of song, and it works. <clears throat> I don't know why. Maybe Theravold would know. The least Theravold. educated bard. <laughs> but, but also, like, how does how does bard magic work, even? You usually study. You just music it out. Yeah, like, you actually do study. But I, I mean, like, on, like, like how does magic <laughs> work? You interact like, with a higher the level. Yeah, what, like you interact with the weave. What's the weave, man? I just play my music. And <laughs> shit, cool you shit. Interact happened. with the weed. Four twenty, blaze it. No. No. So uh, actually, about this point weed. in time, walking into the into the dining hall would be one of the sapphire bears of Felling. Uh, one of the ones <laughs> you guys had. Oh, Mia, shush. One Whoa. of the ones. One of the ones you guys. Fierce had, bears. Yeah, one of the ones you guys had met. Uh, Sigferth is his name. Uh, and he is a, uh, he's like a 30-year-old guy. He was one of the ones that had been there originally. Um, he has a long sword and a shield at his belt, and he's armored up, and he walks in towards you guys, and is like, <clears throat> I was told you were all here. Welcome. Looks like it. I hope your travels went well. For the rest of all, I could have hoped. The... They were interesting. The Duke has uh, been conferring with his advisors all day today. I'm not sure if you've all heard, but uh, 
rumors have been floating around in the capital and have reached us now that uh, apparently, well, and the king has actually sent word to the duke personally. Uh, apparently, the king thinks that the duke was involved with the the murder of, his, of the king's son. Yep, that's what I heard. The same sort of rumors. This is actually the first I've heard of it. Well, it's pretty much the only thing people are talking about in the capital. Well, that and the demon worshipping nobleman. But, you know. Yes, the duke has been quite preoccupied with this in planning his next move. Um, and I'm I'm sure you'll all be very happy to know that uh, thanks to your friend too here, <clears throat> we were able to get the information we need that incriminates the Baron of Snowfeld as the um, the one who had ordered the attack on the Duke. Look oh. to two and saying in Sylvan, just what did you get up to? Oh, you know, uh, just some some uh, whatever I would call uh, hookers. <laughs> And the night continues though he's like um he's like <clears throat> after he found incriminating evidence uh again thanks all thanks to your friend too here um <clears throat> we were able to uh well my companion one of the other sapphire bears brynhelm uh you had seen him before he had carried a loot on his back um he was one of the other ones there when you arrived originally he's somewhat of a uh hmm he's better at talking than i am i'm more of the type to enjoy fighting and combat and less of the talking and planning parts but uh brynhelm <clears throat> he was sent to uh sent to snowfeld a couple of days after two here found the information and is confronting the baron with the information to ask well to press for a confession honestly baron's not too likely to give it but we have the justification we need now um the Duke wanted me to tell you whenever you arrived, uh, not to worry about that, because he plans on taking care of that for now. He so do wanted... you know if Tharavor is busy at the moment? He's in there with the advisors. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. So what is it that the Duke called us here for? Hmm. <clears throat> To be honest, I don't know many of the de <clears throat> the details, and I'll I'll be there along with the uh, along with Ithalind, our other Sapphire Bear, who's here right now. Me and her will be um, <clears throat> at the meeting tomorrow morning, but uh, I believe he plans on sending you all on a diplomatic mission to the Duke of Aver. He's sending. Us I was just there. On a diplomatic mission. I believe so. You'll have to ask him why. I'll have you know. I'll defer to his not. judgment. I, <laughs> I can be rather convincing when I want hmm. to be. Well, you haven't convinced me that your wife is a. I better not <laughs> spread this in front of. Never mind. mind. <laughs> when are we meeting with the Duke? Uh, night, night. Do you ask him when? Yeah. Yeah, he'll be like, uh, you know, tomorrow morning, um, an hour or two after sunrise. You're welcome to I stay here. I assume we'll be expected to leave the day of. He, he's like, <clears throat> yes, I, uh, the Duke will, I don't think the Duke is going to force you to do this mission if it seems wrong to you all, but, uh, he'll discuss that with you, with you in the morning. I don't know all the details myself. Well, I suppose we'll see him in the morning then. <clears throat> and, uh, and he nods and he's like, if there's anything else I could do for you, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to go take care of more business. Uh, oh. In fact, have you all heard of the attack on, uh, oh god, what is it? Thurbisher. Thurbisher, that's it. Thurbisher. Have, have you all heard of the attack on Thurbisher? Yes, um, I was one of the something. people that helped... I was one of the people that helped spread the word. You were. And she told me about it. Well, in that yes, case... Yes, we had the misfortune of uh, coming upon the, the town when the, the attack was happening. 
further word has reached us. Um, it seems like part of the reason the Duke is so busy is because <clears throat> it seems that the uh, the raid on Thurbyshire was not actually a raid at all. The police. Uh, I'll put it in chat. <laughs> It's Thurbyshire there. Um, so um, yeah, it's, it's by Wenswell on the north coast. Yeah, it's the the closest. It's the minor green, town. little green one mm -hmm. to the right of it. Yep, right near Wenswell though. And so the so the knight's like, <clears throat> turns out this raiding, this raid was not actually a raid at all. Um, in the days following what we thought to be a raid, it seems that they have. Uh, an army, a small army and growing has taken up residence there. The Norden raiders and their uh, giants that they're using have, uh, uh, they've not moved out as we thought they would. They haven't moved out of the attack. In fact, they've set up uh, defenses and uh, are in the castle there. Our spies or our, well, our scouts have um, seen that uh, the people of the town there are uh, being held captive and much like an invading force would. And who is being sent to, to deal with this problem? That's part of the discussions that the, the planning... Surely the king will do something. The... I highly doubt that. Do you remember when mm -hmm. yeah, Carival you... was talking about the coming attack on Fellington? I asked the same question said that he believed the king would do a thing about it. The Count of Wenswell is assembling his own army, raising levies from the the towns under his control. I... I have heard that in Alder's Landing, the king has tightened up security and is paranoid, so he would be want... Uh, I'm assuming he is not going to be leaving there himself, even if an army does. Hmm. Seems like he's intent on guarding his own region and letting the rest of the country implode. The men of Wenswell and Beershire and Wolfston are mobilizing under the Count of Wenswell. But the... And uh, part of the reason the Duke <clears throat> is uh, has been planning all day is because him and the, <clears throat> the Count of Jortenheim plan on sending aid. But the Duke uh, already has... Our Duke has his army running thin already. Mm. And we do not know what will happen with the Baron. We cannot afford to send much. Mm. Just setting up your own little knightly order. Looking at docks. Are they ready to fight giants yet? Well, they're probably more ready than you'd expect, but I'd rather not put them in the field against giants at the moment. They're currently best better suited to keeping the roads of Felixton safe. Hmm. Yes, and I know Grizzles was going to get those cobalts into better fighting shape, but I imagine that's going to take a while before they'd be willing to fight something like an ogre or a giant. Mm -hmm. Between the two groups, though, they should be able to secure a good deal of the northeastern area of the, of the duchy. So we, we at least have that going for us. What was the bear that we're talking to his name? Sigferth. Yeah, Sigferth. Sigferth. Yeah, I'll put that in chat. Well, Sigferth, uh, do you know how long the Duke plans on speaking with his advisors? Until planning is done. He has cleared out his schedule all morning tomorrow to speak to you all. If it can wait till tomorrow morning, he will have plenty of time. Yes, it sounds like we'll have some preparations for travel to do anyway. Mm hmm. Hmm. So we're heading to Everton? That's hmm. what it sounds like. And at this point in the night, we take his leave of you guys if you're, if you're fine yeah. with that. Mm hmm. Actually. Everton is not too far from Durndale. If you wanted to go on a <laughs> what bit of a side trip. Mean? It's not too far from Durndale. It's only a few 
few days away. Speaking Excuse of... Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of side trips, I assume we'll be taking the uh, southern road It's to almost Averton. as far from it's... Darlington to Averton as it is from Averton. And it'll definitely there's... take longer to travel that part, too, I would say. <laughs> there's a, <laughs> a certain group. shrine I was told about outside of Mirth... They did it. Mirthfield. Uh, Mirthfield. Yeah. And actually, when, who has the notes, by the way? Me and Miles. Okay. I want yeah. both Anna of... did not remember that there's any relation to, yeah, to, you to guys Mirthfield roll... already, but I'll mention a shine outside of Mirthfield. Well, that I want both of you to roll like a. Um... Cultists. Yeah, and I would write. I like, it's like both of you guys. actually twice as long. How do you spell that? Uh, the city? Oh, wait, it's in the notes, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, both of you roll. Like, I want your characters. Would they have been studying this? Would they remember immediately? Or. Otherwise, you could roll an intelligence check. They uh, both had other things on, on their minds. Study. Ah! <laughs> but she's I would been say, setting up a fucking nightly order, both of and you, he's been... Uh, the two of you who had the letters, I don't know which one of you had that one in particular, but, you know. Uh, I can, I think I have that right Okay. Let's see. Oh god, I just pictured Miles getting it the was... sending stone to his wife, and uh, the note that means gets Miles sold. Known. The note Miles had that note. Okay, Miles, roll me an intelligence check. The I just want Miles DC to get a message, is like, 10, a month so. from now. That his wife's pregnant again. Easy DC. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> Easy. That's a fifty percent failure. Yeah. Oh, that's true. You don't have any uh, points of intelligence. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you don't actually remember yeah, that easy. this is in one of your notes. Yeah. Easy. It, but yeah, Anna would Anna would suggest that we go there since there's a shrine outside that town that is somehow related to uh, the bad guys, the cultists. All right. Dude, there's all kinds Where of great crumbs I have to deal with. That, by the I'll way. Uh, ping it. There. Yeah, it'd be like a little out of the way. We'd be doing a roundabout, but... It also depends on how uh, urgent this diplomatic affair is. Well, I've got to be honest, I'm not too optimistic about it going well, considering the Baron of Snowfield had Knights of Averton with him. One of them told us straight to our faces that we'd made an enemy. Well, we can only hope that uh, it has something to do with these uh, northern attacks, and perhaps they'll be willing to put the, that matter aside to not get invaded by another country. Considering where the, this god's glare of art comes from, I'm a bit skeptical, but I admire your optimism. It, well, it depends on who exactly is... Uh, Part of this cult. If we, if the man at the top is at least <laughs> noble, still we can work with him. How do you know it's a man? Also, it could be a woman. Uh, I don't, I don't actually likes. remember if we've ever heard who was in charge of. No, you Aver haven't. Don't know. <laughs> recently. Oh, the duke. It's a duke and Aver, a male. But, uh, but in terms of, like yeah. the the order, you guys don't know. <laughs> yeah. Would I know that? What. But, um... I don't think two would know that. About the Duke of Averton? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he just the guy just said you were going to get sent to the Duke. He didn't say Duchess, so... Well, no, I meant, like... I just know anything about him? <laughs> or, like, I told anything about him? I'm oh, honestly surprised no, if you know anything. I don't think any of you guys know much about him. Um, In general, there's, like, general knowledge you guys would all know at this point. It's just, like, he's the... He's pretty much, like, the second most powerful... Um figure in the kingdom after the king um it's like it goes basically like the king is the most powerful then the duke of aver um is the second most powerful then the duke of norland and then the duke of felling and those are like the the top figures in the kingdom basically in that order so the duke of the aver... only reason i'm not as high is because i'm in the area of norland mm -hmm. yeah and so like the um i meaning my family <laughs> yeah but like the uh, the Duchy of Aver actually has like um, I think it actually might have it is roughly the same population as like the valley or basin that the capital is in. Um, the area around Averton is even more densely populated. Really, uh, it's just that the capital area sort of extends further. God, I just have so many notes that I have to remember. Anna would, <laughs> while we're discussing Averton and what we know about it, say that she also has somebody that she needs to find there. In related in relation to the cult as well. Actually, I have someone as well. I need to find in Everton. What's their name? 
I forget. <laughs> oh god, here, let me... That's a strange name. I forget? Alright. <laughs> no, it's I... Oh, no, I can... <laughs> Did you fucking cut I can... I forget is who it was. That's definitely not what their name was. <laughs> <laughs> that is a poetry Hold name on. right there. Hold on. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Miles... You know, dude, that's my next wizard. Miles, you were... And he'll never remember his spells. Miles, you were sent to <laughs> find a... Crap, where is this? I love, a, I love <laughs> the idea of a, of a wizard somewhere. that you prepare random spells and you can never remember which spells you have prepared. Oh my god, where in the heck did this thing go? Sounds like hell. Hell is a place. Hold that is on. A couple of party members know about. Yep. Yeah. All of us know about You were told to find Sigrid, the human wizard, in yeah. Averton. So Sigrid is the name, a human wizard. And I was Anna, told to find Sigrid. Anna, it was like Beardamon, right? I think? Hold on. Uh, for me? Beardamon, a halfling. Yep. Yep. So what's, what's this? You want to type out the guy's name? <laughs> Sigrid... A human wizard, Miles. I have to make sure I don't have that somewhere buried in my notes randomly. I feel like that name is familiar for some reason. Wait, have I been told this name before? Uh, oh no, my notes are everywhere. I don't think so. I really should start like taking my notes in a PDF format where I can just like search it. Or just anything other than sticky notes. <laughs> I will never... For, I'll never forsake the sticky notes. But yeah, so those are the two people. So you're down Miles was sent, uh, or was told to find Sigrid, a human wizard, and Anna was told to find Berdamon, a halfling. Both in Averton, though. But yeah, I would ask Miles, so what is this Sigrid to uh, our mission? Uh, to our mission, I'm not exactly sure. But... Is it something to do with your wife? Uh, no, my father. I pull out the note that was there with my father. I can't remember. Do we know anything about your father? Uh, Can we like just... disappearing? How much does the party know about your two's nobility in general? Uh, Anna knows that I was from the family that ruled Durndale. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't think I've told anyone else. Okay. Same, like, Miles knows that Anna's noble. I don't think you actually know, like, any details about that. And the party knows that I'm looking for my father. Yeah. At this point. That's about it. Okay. And Miles, really, I don't think he's pondered the fact that that would mean that my father's noble and it somehow is related to all that bullshit, but yeah. I'm looking for my father. It has something to do with the cult. Which is why we're running around all over the place. But have anyway. you told uh, have you Miles told us the party anything about your father? No. So you're now just saying it's something to do with your father, and we're like, what? <laughs> yes. All right. What about your father? Well, it sounds like he's on the run, hunting something fiendish. Hunting something fiendish. Near Averton. Uh, well, the letter told me to meet with Sigrid, the human wizard, in Averton. I have no idea where he is. I look at Darwin. You know, those shadowy figures of yours do have a rather fiendish interest. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say to him? About what? Well, he, he meant though he got captured by oh, those shadowy yeah, yeah, figures yeah. in Gloucester, yep. and Miles' father has told uh, Miles to go to Averton some, with something to do with fiends. Yeah. It's all connected, man. Well, also, I suppose get the cork board out. convenient for the two of you that were going there, then. Yes, I'd gone there on the way back. I'd met with who I presume to be Sigrid's wife, or something to that effect. But he she was, was not home. 
No, I think she was a halfling. Can't remember. You think that would be rather memorable? <laughs> Have you been drinking halfling? lately? No. <laughs> I generally remember when people are about half the height of a normal human. Do you understand how many houses I had to go to to find my wife? <laughs> oh yeah, your no, investigation check is all pretty well. There. Oh, yeah. Are we back on I, this again? I had to go door to door for several days to find information about my wife. Well, maybe you shouldn't have asked about a dragon living in town. I was I didn't know <laughs> she was a dragon at the time. <laughs> Oh, that's the problem. You should have been asking for the dragon. I understand that. <laughs> we're such assholes. I know. <laughs> but I we do. It. Actually, it's even worse that we're being assholes because we think he's actually mentally unstable. Yes. We're bad. We're not even friends. <laughs> we're just bad people. Uh, yeah. Anna might feel slightly bad about this later. Maybe. Might. Slightly. <laughs> Might. <laughs> so whenever you guys are ready, we can continue. But uh, but if you guys yeah. like to catching up is good and talking is good. So yeah, imagine imagine we'll probably like wander on out of the castle and get a room or something. Do any shopping we need to for the day since we'll probably leave. The Wait, I'm assuming. Uh, on my note, on my note, yes. uh, the letter that I showed them from my father, Adam of Durndale. Yeah. He remarks that my wife is a dragon. Does he? I don't remember that. what he says. But it's not in my handwriting. We don't know that. I don't know what your handwriting looks like. Plus, yeah. you could have forged that. Does it have his seal on it or anything? How do we know it's your father? It has his signature. Adam yeah, does, does, <laughs> mm. Like, of Durndale as in the family kind of thing, or just, like, from there. So he didn't use his last name, he just said he's from Durgan. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't use his last name. Like, sure, that'd be inconvenient for you, showing a mismatch to the last name, but... Yeah. Like... <laughs> like, do you know how many Adams are probably from Durndale? Probably all of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can't think of a single Adam that isn't from Durndale. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> like, maybe there's an Adam of Rochester. There... Which is to the east of Durndale. Yeah, there could be. So basically uh... the suburbs of Durndale, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Rochester's a fucking slum. Yeah, it basically is. Yeah. So, are we... Do we want to move on to the next day? Yes. Okay. All right. I don't think there's anything in particular we need to do, huh? I don't think so. <clears throat> so, we'd get a room somewhere. Anna would probably perform. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Um... Wow. Not just staying inside of the Duke's <laughs> residence? Nah. <laughs> Got my food. Um... I, that's all I needed. So, well, uh, we were on a downtime. I'd be asking your, uh, your uh, knight about how to play bagpipes, since oh yeah, I I barely know. Can't imagine why he'd say no. So, mm-hmm. Well, you don't actually know how to play bagpipes. You just figured it out, kinda. Yeah. Well, enough to improvise. Enough yeah. to use it as a magical instrument. Yeah. You know? Attunement's a, ma a very powerful thing. Yeah. 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 I just don't get that sweet plus 10 performance bonus if I performed with it. You actually do get the performance bonus, you just don't get... Oh, I don't get the I don't get the bonus if I use it as you my don't, you instrument don't get, I can't you don't roll get the instrument. for yeah. your technical skill, but you can still put on a really good show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget that performance is only ha partially related to the instrument. It's kind of weird how that works. Like, you're as a bard, you're actually very rarely going to roll your instrument. Correct. Unless the whole point is your technical skill with the instrument. Yeah, yep. moving on. Yeah, that's fine. So, um, 
The uh, so yeah, so you guys find a place to spend the night. Um, the next day, uh, the next day, you would be sort of brought before the duke or arrive at the castle and be brought to one of his uh, his little like planning rooms. Um, and uh, and he would walk in accompanied by Sigferth again, as well as uh, Ithalind, um, the other sapphire bear who had been there when you guys <clears throat> were there originally. Uh, and she's like a early 20s looking uh, woman. Um, spell her name? Uh, let me put this in chat like that. Ithalind. Um, my notes have, have just become an, a mess of names that I'll not <laughs> be able to like contextualize. <laughs> yeah, um, it's fine. So the uh, so um, so then uh, they walk in accompanying the Duke. Theravol will come in as well, and Alric. Ramon would not be in here actually. Um, but Alric is going to be in here, and uh, so wait, so you're going to talk to Theravol right away? Yes. <laughs> All right. The uh, the Duke might look a little annoyed. The book. Did you find out how to destroy it? And he's like, um, he like raises up a, a hand. He says, "Well, we'll get to that." Um, and he motions to like the Duke. Well, you should pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Miles is going to be visibly upset by this. <laughs> I feel like Thurl doesn't care. Uh, he, um, so, uh, <laughs> so the Duke will come in and he'll, he'll, like, look at you all, and you're all seated around this table, and he would take a seat, and, uh, the, his knights will remain standing. Um, but uh, there's no other knights or anything in here. No normal guards, no normal knights. Just his elite knights, the Sapphire Bears, and um, and so he. Uh, but he takes a seat, and Alric does too, and Theravol does. Um, <clears throat> and the Duke looks at you all and says, um, <clears throat> "Welcome back. I uh, I trust you've all had some time to rest and resolve business." Rest? No. I m did mostly resting, actually. You, uh, you heard about the goings-on in Therbyshire? Uh, yes, I, I have been dealing with uh, the repercussions of that. I had the misfortune of walking directly into it. Really? Mm-hmm. I, no. I, uh, played some part in spreading the word. I, I heard there was quite a bit of bloodshed there. So I... Uh, I hope that, uh, well, I'm glad to see that you're here safe, but, uh... Um, yes, I, I wish I had been able to do something about it, but I don't trust my skills in taking on more than a dozen giants. I with think that's raiders. smart. I heard it was quite the force. Also, I... is, is Darwin with us still? Yeah, he'd be in here so, probably. Yeah. So <laughs> He would, uh, yeah, he would actually probably be like, um, <clears throat> seems you have a new companion as well. Yes, this is Darwin. Hmm, and Darwin would just kind of like nod at the Duke. Maybe like you actually do a little bow. Um, Formerly of uh, of uh, Keldon Ford. More uh, recently of the basement. Oh. Keldon Ford is not far from here. Hmm, and Darwin would just kind of be like, uh, like uh, yes, yes, my lord. Um, <clears throat> and the Duke, so the Duke will uh, look at uh, you all and say, so, I'm glad that you have all arrived on time uh, for this meeting. And uh, Sigferth has told me that you've been made aware of your uh, the very basics of your mission. Mm -hmm. Do you, the before, very basics. before we begin <laughs> discussing things, do you have any, any questions right away? Why us? Yes, I do. <laughs> Why you all? Terrible. Have you found out how to destroy the book yet? <laughs> I'm gonna slap him upside the head. Theravol looks a little annoyed, but he's like, he's like, <clears throat> Miles, <laughs> Miles. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> he's like, <clears throat> Miles, <clears throat> part of your, part of this assignment will involve that. I, uh, and so he'll actually tell you, he'll be like, um, uh, uh, he'll look to the Duke, the Duke will nod, like, basically allowing Theral to continue talking, and, um, and, uh, uh, Theral would be like, <clears throat> Miles, there is a wizard I would have you meet in, uh, in Averton. A human by the name of Sigrid. Oh, well, I'm already having to meet him. That works out wonderfully. Oh, well, uh, in that case, uh, I have worked with him in the past, and I... I do believe that he has, uh, he, he's quite knowledgeable in many things, and he may request something of you, may request payment or a favor in return, but uh, I believe he might have further information regarding the destruction. And my father seemed home. to be on relatively good terms. He knows your father? Hmm. Yes. Well, he is, he is a known name in, among upper circles in the kingdom. It does not surprise me. Although he's never aligned with any particular house or or family in the kingdom. Therable would not know that I am noble. Uh, yeah, he, he wouldn't really be like... To be honest, he probably wouldn't care either way. He'd just be like, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, but like, why would he say that line about... Uh, well, because he had mentioned his father, and he's like, I, I don't know of any families that he's particularly close with, you know, just in general. Hmm. <clears throat> He's like, uh, but if he knew your father, uh... <laughs> but he kind of, you know, he's like, he's like, um, uh, unfortunately though, I, I have not been able to, uh, find the key information I need regarding the destruction of the tome. We still need to get rid of that skull. Sure. Oh, hey, Commander Roots in chat. Maybe we can ask Sigurd about that, too. Um, well, I think so... we knew one way of getting rid of the skull, didn't we? Like... Throw it into lava? Yeah. yeah. Lord of the Rings it. Yeah. Also, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I assume you have the whole skull now, because I, 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 do. I put yeah. out my piece on the table and never grabbed it up again. I, I have the whole skull. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nox would ask what... Uh, ask the Duke... So what do you hope to accomplish with this diplomatic mission? Well, obviously the the House of Aver, we, uh, and well, thanks to Tattoo's to uh, information she received, uh, we have good reason to suspect that the, the Duke of Aver or someone in his court is involved with the, the Baron of Snowfell. And in fact, um, it is common knowledge that the Baron of Snowfeld, his wife, is the sister of the Duke of Aver. They have allied with each other on certain issues in the past. It is no secret, but uh, to know that uh, to have a reasonable suspicion, we have reasonable suspicion now that uh, they are directly involved in the attack on me, for one, on myself and and you as well, Nox and Alejandro. Well, they've had... I mean, the Duke of Ava had knights... Oh, sorry, the Baron of Snowfeld had knights of Ava at, in his service. So I feel like it should be obvious. But diplomatic mission, I, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. Is yes. why, why a diplomatic mission if they're involved? Like that? The thing is... You may know that my position in the kingdom is somewhat precarious right now. Many fear that civil war might be on the horizon. That or yes, that... Anna mentioned something about the Duke blaming you for his son's death. The Duke? The king. Yeah, the king. yeah um, yes. The, there, is the word, there is word circulating and... Um, it is sort of with that pretense that we I plan on sending you all on a diplomatic mission. And hear me out. <clears throat> I plan on sending you with the pretense, the uh, the face, uh, your your facade um, of saying that you seek to discuss support of 
the Duke of Aver regarding uh, basically to defend me in terms of public opinion. He will, of course, not agree to this. It is a, he has no love for me and I have no love for him. But uh, if we send you there under that pretense, you'll be allowed to stay there as a diplomatic um, amenity. And while you're there, <clears throat> that is the cover for what I really am sending you there for, to find information, to see if the Duke, one objective, to see if the Duke himself is involved with the, the Order of Sclerovrak, because, well, and perhaps I should have told you this before, but his father was. And I know this because I killed his father. Hence the bad relations. Yes, you can imagine. Uh, you can see why there is bad blood between us. Um, but, uh, so one objective is to find out if he himself, Duke uh, Jesper is his name, Jesper of Aver, See if he is involved with the Order himself. Another objective. See if he's involved with the Baron of Snowfeld. Uh, well, we know, again, we know he's involved. But find any letters, any written evidence um, that I could bring before the King. <clears throat> or at least show to the rest of the Kingdom. The other rulers, um, <clears throat> the other Duke, uh, the Dukes and Counts of the Kingdom. Um, and the last objective would would be also, while you're in Averton, to meet with uh, Sigrid, wait, Sigrid, Sigrid? <laughs> Gosh, I already forgot again. Yeah, Sigrid, meet with the wizard Sigrid, um, as he will most likely have information. Um, that is not as directly related to the Duke. Um, in any case, I'm sending you because I know you all have a very unique set of skills uh, as a group, and I know not if uh, I doubt the Duke. Um, the Duke will be obligated to at least let you stay. He will almost certainly not even be willing to hear anything you have to say as the cover-up uh, regarding seeking neutrality or his support um, uh, in the court of the king. Um, he, again, he has bad blood between myself and him, but... Uh, in any case, that is that does not matter. As long as he allows you to stay a night or two or three, um, I'll leave it up to you how you decide to continue. But I'm sure you can find a way to find information. Hmm. So the diplomatic mission is pretty much pointless, as you had been able to tell. It is merely a pretense. And uh, the Duke, he is an ambitious fellow. But he... He is beholden to the customs of nobility here in the kingdom, as am I. You know, if we are found out snooping around his premises as diplomats in your name, that's not going to help your position with the king any. This is completely correct, and for that reason, I, I have two conditions that I ask of you. For one, if you are snooping around the palace there, the castle there, Try, do everything you can to remain undiscovered. And the second, please, and I ask you this as a, as a friend, please do not start a fight with the Duke or his men, but especially not the Duke. I realize you all are capable, and if you were working together, you might even be able to sneak into uh, the Duke's quarters and kill him. Um, I wouldn't put it past you all to be able to do such a feat, um, even with all his heavily guarded and his order, his own order of knights that he has. Um, I wouldn't put it past you to be able to. However, the repercussions of that would, let's just say, it would certainly at that point lead to war. Whether or not you all were harmed or afterwards harmed, it would most certainly lead to a inner war or an open war within the kingdom that would kill hundreds if not thousands of men from the kingdom and more specifically men under my protection in felling. I'd really not like to have an open war yet if I can avoid Trust one. me, I am very practiced in breaking into noblemen's houses at this point. And 
I won't start a fight, but I can't promise you that I won't finish one if one bro does break out. If he attacks you all, I would say defend yourselves, obviously. And By the way, what was get the name of, of the nobleman that I busted into the basement of? Uh, I can find it. It's... I don't. I th I might have it written down somewhere. But... Jeff, but with the G E O F F. Jeff of uh, Sir Jeff of Laysworth. Um, but yeah. So the Duke he says, um, yes, defend yourselves if you are attacked uh, or laid upon by the. Duke's men, defend yourself. But after that, I would say, do not pursue pursue that any further. Come back to here, <laughs> Jeffton. Mm -hmm. Jeff of the two Fs. In any case, um, that's that's the basics of the the mission. It is a diplomatic mission in superficial uh, terms only, only as a, a cover for uh, what really will hopefully transpire, which is you all finding information. If you... I will not set any timetable out for you. Uh, I'll not give you any deadline. You may do this as you please, but uh, we are prepared to help you. Uh, well, we can help you make preparations to leave today if that works. Fresh horses, anything you need. Maybe a pony anything for the new I one. Need. Well, the last time I broke into a nobleman's house, they had uh, some magical alarms. Theravel, would you have anything for, for negating magic traps and alarms? And he'll think about it and be like, hmm. Uh, Scrolls with spell magic. Mm hmm. He'll be like, uh, be like, yes, I. Uh, I believe I do have a few scrolls that could do the trick. Those would be quite helpful. Mm -hmm. It looks like to... um, yeah, the the uh, like one of the knights will call for like a servant to go and fetch that fourth animal. I had to extract this one rather uh, abruptly due to magical alarms. <laughs> um, and yeah, they would. I, give still, you... I still haven't explained what I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they would give we'll you. Uh, you would be. Uh, Given one uh, one spell or uh, one spell scroll of dispel magic, just one for now. Scroll. That is not how you spell scroll. <laughs> so yeah, you'd be given one of those if uh, he'd say you know if there it happens to be such a such an alarm built in a magical alarm, then yes, this could do the trick. All right, I would thank him. Mm -hmm. And uh, the. So the Duke would he'd be like look around at you guys and be Shit. like I'm actually the only one that can use it. <laughs> the right. Duke will look at you guys and be like, hmm, is there uh Are you all okay with this This mission? If you do not if you find this mission to be too dangerous or pointless or anything of the sort, I will not force you to go on it. I still have business with the cultists and we've already made an enemy of their god, so can't get much worse. <laughs> Miles and Anna have business in Averton, so we may as well be there. Hmm. So well. I... I just would say, caution you not to get your hopes up about... Well, certainly not about the dip, As you said, the diplomatic side is yes, probably and, uh, a non-starter, but... I, and of course, I, uh, I already have prepared, and it will be given to you in a bit. Uh, I already have a... A letter with my seal on it, uh, a formal letter requesting Actually, that. Uh, mm -hmm. Me and Miles can cast, can use those spells. Or I'm back. You both have spell magic on your list. Uh, yep. So. Oh, it's oh. oh, it's a warlock. Uh, oh, but uh, let's see, warlock. Mm -hmm. I guess she, her point would be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, snooping around in nobility's business is probably going to bring trouble, no matter what. And uh, and he would say. Um, he would definitely say he'd be like he'd be like yes um I'll have all the documents and things you need to be regarded as a guest of nobility there um if you if it happens that uh, I would not put it past the Duke of Aver to um to make sure you're guarded at all times by his own knights uh, so but... I have a, a question about nobility yes um 
So Knox is the head of a knightly order. Mm -hmm. What does that mean for her social status? Um, being a... Because usually knights are... Landed. <laughs> Yeah, and, I mean, uh, basically uh, lesser nobility. And I and I am technically landed. Uh, he would. Uh, so actually, the duke would um, probably. Uh, well, actually, did we tell, talk about if he would have given you like a charter or something? I don't remember. Did he? We didn't discuss that specifically. Mm -hmm. So at this point in time, he might actually say um, he might actually, if you asked him about it or uh, something, he would probably tell you that he. Uh, has been planning uh, writing up a, a charter for your knightly order. Hmm. And he says, um, uh, <clears throat> he'll actually tell you that he plans on making you, like, officially a, a knight of Felang, even though you're not going to be under his order, you know, if that makes any okay. sense. Um, makes sense. Yeah, he'd actually tell you that. He would tell you that your, um, your the, the members of your order will not actually be full knights. They're not going to be knighted, per se. They'll be like squires, sure. essentially. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, they they won't have the position. <laughs> Obviously, that's not going to affect their fighting ability or really oh, yeah, anything. Yeah. But but essentially, they're going to be squires under your guidance. You're going to be the uh, the full knight of Felling. Does this mean she's a well, noble. So now. it would be the difference. With, I would be a land knight. Yes, they would exactly. All be unlanded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which I yeah. think would be the difference. Yes, exactly. Which would be, they'd be your subordinates, so they'd have yeah. basically whatever authority. So, that you so have. he would actually, he'd right. probably sometime in this in uh, morning debriefing, he'd be like, "Before you go, we're gonna have a small ceremony, nothing like uh, okay. too big." He'd be like, "You know, we're not gonna have anything too big with the whole town here, but we are gonna have a, uh, a small ceremony just for um, <clears throat> the public. Yeah, um, just for the small public uh, of like the minor nobility that are uh, here and stuff. Halflings only." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. So, um, but he's gonna, they're gonna hold a small ceremony and make you an official knight of felling, landed knight of felling, um, and give you a charter that de uh, describes your rights as a landed knight of felling. Cool. Um, and he's gonna say, uh, that, uh, he'll, yeah, he'll tell you this. He'll be like, uh, yeah, you'll be a, a landed knight of felling from this point on, which will indeed make you a, a member of the nobility, a minor noble, but a noble nonetheless. Um, uh, you, the rest of you will be regarded as guests of nobility. Um, you will have all the documents necessarily necessary to prove. Uh, oh, and actually, Miles he knows is a noble now, and and Anna, right? So, <laughs> but uh, but he'd say um um he um, basically last... <laughs> he'll basically unless his son told him. I oh, okay. Told him that I'm a noble. Okay, yeah. So maybe he doesn't know, but he would just basically say, "Don't worry." I am. Yeah, because he, I, I literally brought it up to him mm -hmm. in private. He would just tell you guys though, like, "Don't worry about that." Like, you'll we'll make sure it's clear with official documentation that the Duke of Aver knows your guests under my like uh, uh, jurisdiction. I guess there um, you were sent by the Duke of Fellington, and so he says you shouldn't have. He's like, um, even though the Duke of uh, Aver is an ambitious fellow, I don't think he would be so bold as to uh, attack noble guests there. So, on paper, you would be sending Knox, probably, and we'd be her retinue. Precisely. Um, hmm. If any, I care not really who leads the negotiations, which, again, are just a front. Uh... Knox would look at Anna at that point. <laughs> <laughs> you may speak for each other how you wish. I'll... Again, that is not the important part of this mission anyways. Um, as long as you... when I will also include a letter to you with the instructions of what I wish you to say. Because it is good to put on a show for any minor nobility he has there. Uh, raise my credibility within the kingdom. and It's never a bad thing. Speaking of minor nobility, I suggest you don't uh, associate with... Uh... Jeff of Lazeworth anytime soon. Hmm. Um, I don't know if you if you recognize the name at all. He's he's a no nobleman near the capital. I do not recognize Jeff of Lazeworth. I know Lazeworth, but I do not I uh, keep in touch with the nobility in that. I know part. his exact associates, but he is certainly getting wrapped up with demon worshiping. Really? Hmm. I'll uh, hang on to that information. And Darwin's probably just like, yep. <laughs> so, so the Duke will basically uh, ask you guys if you have any other questions. He'll tell you, you know, it's uh, 
it's like maybe five days, four or five days journey. If you're riding fast by horse to Averton, um, depends on the conditions of the road too, but, uh, but you, uh, you can make it there not too long, um, good part of a week, but, uh, you can make it there. And, uh, he says, again, you don't have a time limit or anything, but the better, the sooner, the better. Um, he, he would actually also tell you, tell you along with that. He'd be like, um, part of that is because, uh, well, with the attack on, uh, Thurbisher, um, we may have, there may be work available. Um, I don't know if I in particular will have anything to offer you there, but, uh, there could be uh, more fighting coming. Hmm. All right. Uh, but he'll say, like, you know, if you, once you do this mission, if you need to take your time to go anywhere else or do anything else, then feel free to do oh, it. Oh, I intend to. Mm hmm Just okay. trying with my name on it. <laughs> so. I can't think of anything to do in Bellington before we go. Okay. So, yeah. They would, um, they would hold, uh, this minor ceremony for you, for Knox. Um... Oh. And I don't know, like if your father wanted to, or if you wanted your father there, he could be invited. Sure. Okay. Makes and, sense. Yeah, and your uh, maybe your sister, if she's still in town. He's a merchant or whatever, right? So I imagine he'd be uh, somebody of yeah, upper standing, not mm -hmm. noble, but the the duke actually. So your father already received a letter like the day before inviting him, because um, they the duke knew he was going to do this ahead of time, um, and uh, and so yeah, so they hold a small ceremony um for Knox and you guys can all attend if you wish as well there is some uh, members of the upper class of the city here um but uh other than that the uh and there's actually like a uh, part of the ceremony is carried out by a priest of the temple of Isidore um not that it's a super religious ceremony but uh but yeah and the and the the duke knights you as a knight of felling a and a lined a, a landed knight at that um which is you know it's fairly significant um a landed knight is you know really where nobility starts unlanded knights yeah. are kind of iffy like in between you know um mm -hmm. they're the upper class of like the warrior class but um but yeah you're a member of like the the nobility not by birth but of course by uh merit or whatever yeah so uh so you are but you are officially a member of nobility and so. good bargaining chips yeah exactly so, uh, so yeah, you are, right. uh, so now there's three nobles in the, awesome. yeah. in the party. Should we, uh, take a break before we Yes, we get should. To this the... is a perfect yeah, time. Sense. Yeah. There is one timing. thing that I want Jack to try and find. There is that, that, there's that fucking halfling dude that we saved twice that told us to go oh, yeah. meet somebody near yeah, Halfledale's yeah. Rest or in there. Well, uh, yeah, we'll cover that in a sec. Uh, we can yeah. cover that during break. I'll be, I'm gonna do this. Yeah.